Behind every story of success lies a series of twists and turns, setbacks and failures. This is my bout and I'm keeping it for a long, long time, baby. And in a sport where two men enter a cage, but only one can win, the chances for success are cut in half. With odds like that, it's no wonder very few ever make it to the top. You're not a fan if you don't know who I am. He is going to fight for the rising belt. For those who do make it, they must understand that quitting is never an option that every setback is a lesson to be learned. If he goes there and DC loses, there's a guaranteed rematch. The journey to the top will demand great sacrifice, a price few are willing to pay. But for those who are all in, know this. The game is cruel. It will give and it will take. I will fight Horiguchi on my home soil in the US for the Bellator title and I will win that fight. There is a saying in combat sports, one man's loss is another man's gain. Bellator Bantamweight Champion, Kyoji Horaguchi. And in this story, the saying holds true. Horaguchi, where you at? Come find a real 35 pounder, baby. You are not leaving the stakes with that belt. This is a story about two men on a quest, a vacant belt, a division in chaos, and one goal take home their first Bellator Bantamweight Championship belt. This is Bellator Countdown, Road to the Bantamweight title. Juan Archuleta, also known as the Spaniard, is on the hunt for his first Bellator title. If you follow my career, I'm the I'm a four division champ for a reason. Uh, king of the cage, 135, 145, 155. After a highlight reel knockout win over former bantamweight champion Eduardo Dantes, Archuleta earned his spot as the top contender. With the dream of becoming a multi-division champion in his sights, his next fight would be for the title. Or so he thought. With the current Bantamweight champion fighting Horiguchi and Ryzen, and a possible rematch on home soil looming, number one contender Archuleta knew he couldn't sit around and wait. He'd have to make moves now or risk waiting another six months for the opportunity to once again present itself. A decision that would soon pay off. They're gonna fight me. There's no more running anymore. I'm signed and sealed and delivered to Bellator. Archuleta, who had not tasted defeat in 18 fights, finally got the opportunity to contest for gold at Bellator 228. The challenge? Move up to the 145-pound featherweight division and take the belt from one of the pound-for-pound -pound greats in mixed martial arts, featherweight and lightweight king, Patricio Pitbull. He is the greatest Bellator fighter of all time now. Patricio, I mean, you can't deny it. He's the, he's the best we have on our roster right now. The chance to fight for a title meant Archuleta's trajectory was heading in the right direction, that he was getting closer to turning his champion's dream into reality. The stage was set, the moment was his. Fight has gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you, Blue. That's there were no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Am I ready to fight? On a night that would see both his winning streak snapped and an early exit from the Featherweight Grand Prix, Archuleta's dream of becoming a Bellator champion would be put on hold. With news of Horiguchi relinquishing the belt due to injury, and the Bantamweight division now in a state of flux, 
Archuleta stepped in and defeated featherweight Henry Corrales at 145 pounds. That win cemented his place as the top contender for the vacant Bantamweight title, his preferred weight class. With former Bantamweight champion Darian Caldwell tied up in the Featherweight Grand Prix, the decision was made to give Archuleta the title shot. With his second crack at the title now booked, Archuleta will be entering the cage looking to add to his storied legacy a legacy that includes holding an impressive four titles in four divisions simultaneously, a feat he is looking to replicate in Bellator. In a talent-rich division with names like Sergio Pettis, Ricky Bandejas, Eduardo Dantas, and James Gallagher, Juan Archuleta finds himself once again at the top of the pack standing in the presence of the belt. But if he plans on seizing the opportunity, he will have to do so by overcoming an undefeated obstacle. Standing in his way is one of the slickest and deadliest submission specialists in the game. Patrick Patchy Mix. A fighter whose contests rarely go past the first round. Creative as he is deadly, Mix will be one of Archuleta's most difficult challenges to date. You know, I'm six minutes into the promotion and uh, I got an opportunity at the belt. I'm very respectful uh, to all my opponents. I love a great challenge and I would love for that fight to happen. Behind closed doors hidden from watchful eyes, Patchy Mix spends countless hours perfecting his craft. Fueled by grit and determination, he is on a mission for one thing the 135-pound Bantamweight belt. I'm here to fight the contenders in the division. I think I should be at the top of the list for that title shot. Mix has amassed an impressive professional career and has a 13-fight win streak, 24-fight win streak if you include amateur bouts. Let me meet you now. Not from the last time. Let me meet you now. And now finds himself fine for the Bantamweight title. Oh! Oh! I'm the star of this division. And there's 17 people, nobody. We're gonna go right in here, okay? Nobody. A man who has never tasted defeat and never lost a single round. Looking for the takedown early, hooks the leg, back, climbs his back, immediately body triangle. Is more determined than ever to prove that he is the real deal and that he has what it takes to bring home the belt. In the sport of MMA, there are no overnight successes. Ask Patchy, and he will tell you. I mean, look at the other guys signed in Bellator, and then look at me, you know, look at what I'm doing. I have 10 finishes, um, eight of them in the first round, and I'm on an eight-fight finish streak. Entering the Bellator organization, the New York native made taking down Bantamweight contenders his top priority. I'm Patchy No Love Mix, I'm 24-0. I'm on the biggest streak of my life, and I'm ready to take out all the contenders in the division. It don't matter if it's Pettis, or Gucci or Archuleta. Patchy would put the entire Bantamweight division on notice after his impressive first round finish over Bellator's top contender, Ricky Bandejas. Mix telling us that his biggest strength as a fighter is his mindset, his conditioning. An opponent Archuleta had also fought, but failed to put away in a hard three round tilt. He's already got the one around that neck. Bandejas has been submitted via rear naked choke. After winning his first two Bellator fights in spectacular fashion and finishing rising star Yuki Matoya, the undefeated mix began calling for a title shot, a call that would soon be answered. I'm a kid that comes from nothing with an opportunity to make everything. I don't care what's next. Bellator knows what's next. A call that would soon be answered.
Bellator matchmakers confirming the title fight and bout agreement signed. There was only one thing standing in the way. Each fighter would be required to pass a COVID-19 test. And what happened next would put the main event and the title fight in jeopardy. And we were supposed to have the title fight with Juan Archuleta and Patrick Mix. That got pushed off because um, Juan Archuleta tested positive for COVID, which he told us he feels fine now. Now with Juan Archuleta and Patrick Mix testing negative and the date officially announced, the time has arrived for these two men to enter the cage. Two fighters in one of the most dynamic divisions in Bellator will go head to head on September 12th. Both with something to prove, both looking for glory and gold. Juan the Spaniard Archuleta and Patrick Patchy Mix for the Bellator Bantamweight World title. Let's get it on.